Hello everyone! Welcome or welcome back here on my channel. This is me once again, Teacher Jinjin, your virtual teacher here on YouTube. Kung bago ka pa lang sa channel na ito, gumagawa ako ng mga Tagalog tutorial videos mula grade 7 hanggang grade 11. Kung interesado ka, please like, subscribe, at i-click mo na rin ang notification bell para ma-notify ka kapag may bago akong upload na video. Magandang araw, mga minamahal kong grade 9 students. Nandito na tayo ngayon sa inyong learning task number 4, week 8. So, malapit na nga tayong matapos sa inyong first quarter. Itong learning task number 4 ay pwede rin ninyong maging sagot sa learning task number 3, letter B. Kasi similar din lang naman sila. Gagawa lang kayo ng graph na katulad lang din nitong learning task number 4. So, disclaimer lang, inibahan ko yung given dito upang sa ganun ay subukan ninyong isolve yung nasa module ninyo. Illustrate the graphs of the following quadratic functions, then analyze the effects from each other. So, meron tayong given dito na limang quadratic functions. Diba ang vertex form ay y is equal to a quantity of x minus h squared plus k. Ang first na gagawin natin is kunin natin yung vertex ng functions. Diba ito yung form niya? So, dito sa number 1, we have y is equal to 4x squared. Wala siyang value ng h at wala ding value ng k. Kasi ito lang naman siya o. Oh. Value lang ng h at x squared lang ang meron. So, ang h natin is 0. Ang k natin is 0 din. Dito naman sa number 2, y is equal to 4x minus 3. So, dito naman, ang meron lang is yung k lang. Wala siyang h. Ibig sabihin, ang h natin is 0. Yung k natin is, eto, negative 3. Kaya, ang vertex natin dito is 0, negative 3. Katulad lang din dito sa number 3, wala din siyang h. At ang k naman dito is positive 3. So, ang vertex nito ay 0, positive 3. Dito naman sa number 4, y is equal to 4, Quantity of x minus 3 is squared plus 1. As you can see, naka-vertex form siya, diba? Kompleto yung mga parts niya. Alin dito ang h? Ito yung positive 3. And then, yung k naman is yung positive 1. Bakit positive 3 yung h natin? Eh, negative yung nasa gitna niya. Kasi nga, yung katapat ng h dito is yung 3, hindi yung negative. Okay? Kaya, ang vertex natin dito is positive 3, Positive 1. Dito naman sa number 5, y equals 4, quantity of x plus 3 squared naman, minus 1. So, ang k natin dito, yung katapat ng k is negative 1. Eh, paano naman yung kanyang h? Eh, naka plus sign ito. Ang gagawin nyo lang, pwede nyong i-expand tong positive 3, magiging minus negative 3 na siya. Ibig sabihin, ang magiging h na natin is negative 3 at ang k natin is negative 1. Okay, so meron na tayong limang vertex. Ngayon, pwede na natin siyang i-graph dito sa Cartesian plane. Pero paano nga ba natin siya i-graph kung ang given lang naman ay yung vertex? Pwede rin namang i-graph ninyo given itong mga to. Upward yung parabola kasi puro positive yung value ng a natin. So, upward lahat ng parabola dito. Pero, para mas detailed yung information, mag-set tayo ng values ni x para at least meron tayong tatlong points sa parabola. So, dito muna tayo sa number 1. Ang vertex natin is 0, 0. So, mamili kayo ng x sa left ni 0. ba ang left ni 0 is negative 1 at yung nasa right niya is positive 1. Pwede nyo pa rin dagdagan to hanggang sa gusto ninyo. Pero para sa akin, sapat na yung tatlong points na negative 1. Ito yung vertex niya at saka yung 1. Okay? So, para makuha natin yung value ng y, isubstitute natin yung value ng x. Dito muna tayo. y equals 4x squared. So, that is y is equal to 4 times ang x natin is negative 1 squared. And negative 1 squared is positive 1. So, 4 times positive 1 is equal to 4. So, ibig sabihin, kapag ang x natin is negative 1, ang y natin is positive 4. 
Kapag naman ang x natin is positive 1, that is 4 times 1 squared, is equal to 4 times 1 din. And that is equal to positive 4. Okay? So, meron na tayong tatlong points. Negative 1, 4, 0, 0, at positive 1, 4. Ilagay muna natin yung vertex. So, dito muna tayo maglagay. Tapos, yung isang point is negative 1, positive 4. So, dyan natin ilalagay yan. Tapos, dito naman, positive 1, positive 4. So, dito naman. Ngayon, pwede na natin i-connect yung mga points at magkaka-form tayo dyan ng parabola. So, itong parabola na to, this is y equals... 4x squared. So, maglagay kayo ng label niya kasi mamaya pagsamasamahin natin yung mga parabola sa iisang Cartesian plane. So, nag-guess ninyo yung number 1? Now, let's proceed sa number 2. y equals 4x squared minus 3. Kagaya nga ng sinabi ko kanina, pwede kayo mag-assign ng x. So, di ba 0, negative 3 yung vertex natin. Tapos, mamili kayo ng number sa katabi ni 0 dito sa left niya. Pwede rin negative 1, pwede negative 2, pwede hanggang negative infinity. Sa katabi naman or dun sa right niya is positive 1. Okay? Basta palagi ninyong ilagay yung nasa gitna is yung vertex. By substitution sa ating formula, y equals 4x squared minus 3. That is 4 times negative 1 minus 3. Then, negative 1 squared is equal to positive 1, di ba? So, 4 times 1 is, is equal to 4, minus 3 is equal to 1. So, when x equals negative 1, ang value ng y is positive 1. Then, positive 1 naman, that is 4 times 1 is squared minus 3. 1 is squared is equal to 1. So, 4 times 1 is equal to 4, minus 3 equals 1. So, 1 din yung kanyang value ng y. I-plot na natin dito sa ating Cartesian plane. So, ang vertex natin is 0, negative 3. So, nandito yung vertex niya. Tapos, negative 1, positive 1. So, nandyan yung isang point. And then, positive 1, positive 1. So, nandito naman siya. Ngayon, i-connect natin yung mga points. And then, magkakaroon tayo ng parabola dyan na ganyan. So, pwede nyo pang i-extend to hanggang dito sa taas. Pwede pa naman para maging pantay-pantay sila. Pero kulang na kasi yung aking parabola, kaya ganyan lang siya. Tapos, pwede ninyong lagyan ng label na y equals 4x squared minus 3. Okay? Tapos, ito naman, y equals 4x squared. So, ganun siya. Idagdag nyo na lang mamaya yan sa number 3 hanggang number 5. Next, sa number 3 naman tayo, y equals 4x squared plus 3. So, ang vertex natin is 0, positive 3. So, ang i-assign ko ulit na x is negative 1, positive 1. By substitution, that is 4x squared minus 3. That is y equals 4 times negative 1 squared plus 3 na dapat to, plus 3. So, negative 1 squared is equal to 1. Then, 4 times 1 equals 4. Plus 3 equals 7. Kaya 7 ang ilalagay natin dito. Tapos, yung positive 1 na 1, that is 4 times 1 is squared plus 3. 1 is squared is equal to 1. 4 times 1 is equal to 4. Plus 3 equals 7 din. Okay? So, ang vertex natin is 0, positive 3. Nasaan yun? 0, positive 3. So, nandito yung point na yun. Pababa yung isa kanina, tapos ito naman, tumaas siya. Okay? So, ang first point natin is negative 1, positive 7. Magdadagdag tayo dito ng dalawa, that is 6, 7. So, ang first point natin is negative 1, positive 7. So, nandyan siya. Next is positive 1, positive 7. So, dito naman siya. Tapos, i-connect natin yung mga points. Yan na yung parabola natin. So, magdagay lang tayo ng arrowhead dyan. And this is y equals 4x squared plus 3. Okay? Number 4, y equals 4, quantity of x minus 3 squared plus 3. Ang vertex natin is positive 3, 1 naman. So, mamili kayo ng x sa katabi ni 3. 
na nasa left niya, that is 2. Tapos yung nasa right naman niya is 4. Okay? By substitution, that is y equals 4x minus 3 squared plus 1. So, palitan natin ng 2 yung x. Kaya, 4 times 2 minus 3 squared plus 1. 2 minus 3 is equal to negative 1. Tapos, negative 1 is squared is equal to positive 1. Again, 2 minus 3 is equal to negative 1. Then, negative 1 is squared is equal to positive 1. Konti lang kasi yung space dito, kaya ganun na lang yung ginawa ko. And then, 4 times 1 is equal to 4, plus 1 equals positive 5. Next, sa so positive 4 naman. So, 4 times 4 minus 3 squared plus 1. 4 minus 3 is equal to 1, di ba? Then, 1 is squared is equal to 1 then Kaya, 4 times 1 is equal to 4, plus 1 equals 5. So, 5 dito, and then 5 din dito. Iplat na natin yung vertex. So, ang vertex natin is positive 3, positive 1. Nand nandito siya. Tapos, ang first point natin, positive 2, positive 5. So, nandyan naman siya. Then, positive 4, positive 5. Then, connect the points. Yan na yung magiging parabola ng y equals 4x uh, minus 3 squared plus 1. Mm -hmm. Galingan nyo na lang magsulat dito ha. Then, lastly, number 5, y equals 4, quantity of x plus 3 squared minus 1. Ang vertex natin is negative 3, negative 1 naman. So, ang pipiliin natin, nakatabi ni negative 3 sa kanyang left is negative 4. Yung nasa right niya is negative 2, ba? By substitution, that is y equals 4, quantity of x plus 3 squared minus 1. So, palitan natin ng negative 4 yung x. Negative 4 plus 3 equals negative 1. Tapos, negative 1 is squared equals positive 1. So, 4 times 1 is equal to 4 minus 1 equals 3. Then, yung negative 2 naman, that is 4 times negative 2 plus 3 squared minus 1. Negative 2 plus 3 equals positive 1. Tapos, positive 1 is squared equals positive 1 then. 4 times 1 is equal to 4 minus 1 equals positive 3. So, 3 ang ilalagay natin dito, 3 ang ilalagay natin dyan. Iplat natin sa Cartesian plane. Ang vertex natin is negative 3, negative 1. So, nandito naman siya. Tapos, ang first point natin is negative 4, positive 3. And then, negative 2, positive 3. Connect the points, so magkakaroon na tayo ng parabola dyan. So, again, pwede ninyong i-extend yan hanggang sa taas, hanggang maging pantay-pantay sila. Ito yung parent quadratic function natin. Ito, oh, yung nasa 0, 0 yung vertex. Tapos, sa number 2, negative 3 yung kanyang k, ba? Kaya bumaba siya ng negative 3. Tapos, sa number 3 naman, tumaas siya ng positive 3 kasi positive 3 yung k. Tapos, dito naman, pumunta siya doon sa right. Sa number 5 naman, pumunta siya doon sa left. So, anong explanation nito? Ibig sabihin niyan, if H is positive, shift to the right. ba yung H dito sa number 1 to 3 is 0 lang. Wala siyang sign. Pero, nung number 4 na, pumunta na siya sa right, ba? 3 units to the right. Tapos, tumaas siya ng isang beses kasi yung k niya is positive. And then, if h is negative naman, shift to the left. Tingnan niyo yung number 5, negative 3 yung h niya. So, from parent function, na from this point, nagpunta siya dito ng 3 units to the left. So, ganun siya. And then, if k is positive naman, shift upward. Yung k natin dito sa number 3 is positive, ba? So, from this parent quadratic function, tumaas siya ng 3 units upward. Tapos, yung k natin dito sa number 2, tsaka sa number 5 is negative. ba bumaba siya? From this point, bumaba siya. And from this point, bumaba siya. So, kapag ang k is negative, shift downward. Nagets ninyo? 
Again, ito yung parent quadratic function natin. Kapag positive yung h to the right, kapag negative to the left. Kapag positive yung k, upward siya. Pag negative naman, downward. Sa learning task number 3 ninyo, pwedeng ganito na lang din ang gawin ninyo. Kasi gagawa kayo dun ng graph, di ba? So, isummarize natin. The graph of y equals ax squared plus k is obtained by shifting y equals ax squared k units upward if k is greater than 0 or positive and k units downward if k is less than 0 or negative. Kagaya lang din siya ng explanation natin kanina kaso naka-sentence form na siya. And then the graph of y equals a quantity of x minus h squared plus k vertex form ito is obtained by shifting y equals ax squared h units to the right if h is greater than 0 or positive pa ganun siya and h units to the left if h is less than 0 or negative so pa ganun then the graph of y equals quantity of x minus h squared plus k is obtained by shifting y equals ax squared h units to the right if h is greater than 0, h units to the left naman if h is 0, and k units downward if k is less than 0. Okay? Basta yung h natin is positive pa right, pag negative pa left. Pag yung k natin is positive upward, pag negative downward. So, ganun siya ha? Kung nakatulong ito sa inyo, please do like this video at mag-comment na rin kayo sa baba. Once again, stay home, stay safe, stay healthy at mag-aaral ng mabuti. God bless you all and goodbye!